Right, as California Senator Kamala Harris accepted the Democratic Party's nomination tonight, many San Diegans were paying close attention not only to what she said, but also to what this nomination says about our country's history. I accept your nomination for Vice President of the United States of America. Wednesday night, millions of Americans tuned in to witness California-born Kamala Harris, the daughter of immigrants and the first woman of color to accept a major U.S. political party's nomination, take the stage. Let's fight with hope. Let's fight with confidence in ourselves and a commitment to each other. A moment in history that will never, ever be forgotten. Lemon Grove Mayor Raquel Vasquez is San Diego County's first elected African-American female mayor. She praised the selection of Kamala Harris to run alongside Joe Biden. She is determined, she is committed, and she is ready to serve. She will be able to move the needle for people, people just like you and me. There's a special place in my heart for Kamala Harris and I believe that she will do an outstanding job. San Diego and Joyce Suber is a member of the San Diego graduate chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha, the same sorority Harris belongs to. She is a woman of integrity. She is not afraid to speak out and say what's right and do the right thing. You may not agree with every stand she's taken, but rest assured, she will be forthright. She will be honest. It gives me extra pride that she's from California. And Paloma Aguirre, mayor pro tem of Imperial Beach, is the first Latina elected to IB City Council. She worked with Kamala Harris in the Senate. Seeing her be the nominee for vice president, women, and especially women of color all over the country, will be able to see themselves reflected in her and to follow that path. And Kamala Harris is expected to address San Diego County's Democratic Party virtually for a special event Saturday, August 29th.